What is up guys, it's me, I'm so Official Games here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get Palkia and uh, Dialga on Pokemon Platinum. So first thing you wanna do is uh, make your way into uh, Mount, this Mount right here, Mount Cornet. You're gonna need Waterfall, a bunch of Repels, and a bunch of Pokeballs. But yeah, I'll show you guys how to get there right now. Before you catch Palkia and Diablo, you gotta get their orbs, which are also located in this cave. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So yeah, first we gotta make our way around this place. And we should exit where there should be snow soon. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. I get to the top. And you wanna keep heading up. You basically almost want to go to where you went last time with when Cyrus was there. Jesus. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, you also need to rock climb. Yeah, I mean, you should you should probably know what you need, cause to get here it, it, it ain't easy. Alright, back up back into this cave. Up, up. You want to go inside of that. <laughs> And I totally went on the wrong way, but you want to get to the other side of this, which I uh, messed up already, but I mean, you just got to make it through here, go down here, climb up this waterfall, go inside this tunnel right here, and read this, stone plate. There is text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. Three beings were born to bind time and space. MC put the stone plate in the items pocket. And guess what? That's the Adamant Orb. And over here, uh, you, you're gonna find yourself the Lustrous Orb. And these are the two orbs that you need to summon Palkia and Dialga. And that's exactly what we are about to do literally right now. You're gonna have to get them from the waterfall. And we, we gotta climb up. Up to where we were. So I gotta go back to the spot that I was literally just at. <laughs> and I said I went to the wrong spot. Yeah, I was ahead of myself there. But yeah, uh, now you go all the way around, all the way around. We make ourselves all the way to the top. Carry a lot of refills, because these caves are annoying, guys. Don't want to encounter anything. You just want to catch legendary Pokemon, you feel me? Oh, God. I, <laughs> I feel like I keep messing up. Climb up this cave. Jesus. It's right here. Uh, they're both level 70. I'm on their level as hell, but I got the power of saves on my side. So I think we should be fine. We come right over here. And the blue one, I'm pretty sure there's... I mean, I think we could only catch them one at a time, because I'm pretty sure I have both of them. Yes, sir, I do. So, uh, well, this is going to be an intense one, isn't it? Gotta show you guys how to do it all the way. Give me a second. I gotta save my game. Cause you know we don't play. We don't play over here. And I gotta also save through here. So it makes it easier for me. Alright, so I I'm starting it off with a bang. I'm pretty sure this is steel dragon type. We gotta hit it like this. On the other side of the riff, it's a fantastically bizarre place. It's the Alga. Will you challenge the Alga? Of course we challenge in the Alga. What kind of question is that? Hit her with the fire blast straight off the bat. Jesus Christ. Should have leveled up my Pokemon before coming here. He said sarcastically as he knew that Dave was gonna do it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hit her with a fucking close combat. There we go. We left it low. Now it's just a battle of wits. A battle of wits. Oh wow. That was actually faster than I thought it would be. Okay, so we caught ourselves that one, and I'm pretty sure I have the option of catching myself another one. Please tell me I brought revives, or else I'm actually, I'm actually, okay, perfect. We do that. I even have a rare candy for some reason. 
I'm gonna get to win for me. <laughs> the only reason to bring him back to life. I got a bunch of my explosions. And I'm pretty sure I got a bunch of revives up here. Yes, sir. Exactly the amount of revives I needed. We're going straight into this. Uh, let me just make sure they're all healed. I, I forgot the typing for the next guy, but we'll figure it out, guys. Uh, I'm going to save again. We caught ourselves Diago already. We just need to catch ourselves Park here. Always, I always recommend you guys save before you do any any uh, legendary battles or anything. Because uh, it ain't easy catching them right away. Even though I somehow caught that one. I don't remember where, and it's, where does it lead to? Oh, wait. I think I got to leave and come back. Hold up. There we go. Yep. Just like I thought. On the other side of the rift, it's a bizarre place. It's Palkia. Will you challenge Palkia? Yes, sir. We want that level 70 goodness, guys. That's what we want them for. They're level 70 beast. Palkia and Tiaga, guys. They're amazing Pokemon to have. Uh, hit it with a fire blast. Did absolutely nothing. Hit it with a close combat. Hit it with another close combat. <laughs> hit it with another close combat. Oh, I got clout. Uh, it is what it is, though. It happens sometimes. Hit it with a dick. There we go. Now he's slow. Now just throw a bunch. What? It's usually not that easy to catch legendary Pokemon, guys. I don't know what the hell just happened, but he got caught in one try. So I'm not going to complain about it. But yeah, uh, after you leave, uh, that should disappear, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And I'm freaked out. I never caught legendary Pokemon that easy. Okay. I can't leave like that. Good thing your boy always has an escape room. Never leave home without it. I just gotta find out where it is. Yes, sir. What do you mean I can't use that here? I <laughs> we're on the cave. You can't stop me from using an escape rope in here, can you? Exactly. Only a fool would allow me to not use my escape rope here. Yeah, I'll show you guys the moveset that they have. I'm actually freaked out that I actually caught them. <laughs> In, in in such a short amount of try i was actually this was on one take i'm not even lying okay so we have level 70 dialga right here guys steel and dragon type uh steel pillar metal level 70 all of that it raises the pp's uh usage it has roar of time which is a really powerful dragon type move that will as you saw it, it one shot at me it absolutely destroyed me hill block earth power and slash and same thing except it has spatial blend and those moves i'm pretty sure are only unique to them i mean we didn't really see the outlet i'll show i'll show you both of them guys I, I, well, you know we got time i, I kind of want to take them out for a spin if you get what i'm saying so i'll show you what both of those unique moves for these uh specific pokemon look like right now right now so <laughs> I feel bad for that level 8 matchup because he's about to get hit, hit by Spatial Blend. He digs through space and he annihilates. Now let's show you guys what Yalga's also insane powerful move looks like. Ponita level 7, I'm sorry for your loss. You're basically going to die now. This is what Roar of Time looks like, guys. And it's, it, it, it does a lot of damage. Look, yeah, I felt like I sped up a little too quick on the Palkia part. Let's, let me show you guys again what it means to use this move. And then it just digs through it and it dies. Uh, yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out on acquiring uh, Dialga and Palkia. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.